Good evening, everyone. It's Jeanette, brand ambassador for the JD Farms Gourmet Turkey Products. And tonight I'm so excited um, because it's this weekend's recipes is all about mom and making mom's life that much easier. And if you tuned in last night's recipe, I made a turkey pizza roll up that I want the kids to get involved because it's super easy, either using puff pastry or the Pillsbury uh, Crescent Roll dough. Um, and I made a grown-up version with the apple brie sausages. So I thought tonight before I get into this Mother's Day brunch casserole that we make tonight, put it into the fridge, and then we pop it in the oven tomorrow. Uh, before we get into that recipe, I thought I would show you how I'm going to cook up these sausage rolls um, that I made yesterday. So these have been in my fridge overnight. I wrapped it in a little bit of plastic wrap. They're very, very cold. And we've got everything in the inside. Remember this one, the adult version had the apple brie with the pickled bean, because I want kind of that tang, the little piece uh, or the ribbon of zucchini and that cream cheese and spinach. So I'm gonna cut that one up. And the kid version, the puff pastry I rolled out, the turkey pepperoni that has the mushrooms laying on there, the sliced up, um, uh, jalapeno and the red onion no the red pepper and the onion is all in there with the quick pizza sauce I do have my knife ready I'm gonna use a serrated knife cut them just like so if you can kind of see all the really good flavors in there I thought I would put them this way but I'm gonna put them this way on the pan so they're gonna bake up like these little pizza bites I'll cut up a couple more so you can see and lift them off. They're going to go onto the pan. So that's the, the pizza version and the one that has the apple brie. So cutting it about an inch. And look, I'm going to be putting those in the, my little toaster oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to watch. Oh, and I'm going to brush a little egg wash on the top so they get nice and brown. I'm gonna say they're gonna take probably 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. I wanna make sure that turkey, uh, the turkey sausage is well cooked and I get a nice brown on it. So I'm gonna bring back my pan so you can see how I'm spacing them out. And remember, I'm gonna put a little bit of egg wash. So that's perfect for a nice little snack for my baby mom tomorrow afternoon um, instead of mom making dinner. It's time for you to make dinner for mom. So that was yesterday's recipe. Also, I said I forgot to put in the spinach. I did unroll one of them and I was able to tuck in that spinach and then roll it back up. So let's get that set aside. And let's get on to tonight's recipe. Tonight's recipe, I have heard it being called a wife saver or brunch all in one dish. So this is what it's gonna look like. I've got my, I think this is a eight by 10 pan. I do have a little bit of oil in the pan. Oh, that's my oven telling me it's ready. So I have a little bit of oil in the pan and we're going to use tonight the maple breakfast sausage. These are fantastic. They've got the maple syrup built right in. Um, something that you need to know about all our sausages, we use a vegetarian casing. Uh, so there's no pork involved in, uh, in any of our products as well. So it just kind of melts away. So in our turkey maple sausages, we've got, um, of course, the great ground turkey, sea salt, spices, uh, berry sugar, a little brown sugar, and of course the maple. So we're gonna be using those. I've got some day old, very hearty brown bread that I'm gonna use. A little bit of vegetables, cause we're gonna sneak some vegetables in there. And I also like the way the color. So about a quarter of a yellow pepper, quarter of a orange pepper, a little red onion and a little bit of jalapeno. I think the jalapeno, because of how sweet the sausage, it's gonna be a nice little hit. Also, I've got some sweet potato that I'm gonna cut very thin to go in. And of course, a local product as well, cranberries naturally. I've got their orange cranberries. About a third of a cup of that is gonna go into my mix as well. I have got some Parmesan cheese. I want kind of a saltier cheese for this because we've got the sweet cranberry, the sweet sausage, the heat of the onion and the bell pepper. It's all matching out. I've got four farm fresh eggs from the Fraser Valley here, a cup of organic milk that I keep on hand. I'm not a big milk drinker, so these little um, tetra um, packs 
of organic milk are fantastic in my pantry. A um, little salt, salt. Whoop, a little bit of the turkey rub. It's got great seasoning in it, so why not use this instead of salt? It's not just for rubbing on turkeys. It's an amazing little spice blend. Some pepper. And then, as you know, I'm also the brand ambassador for Terrell's Table. And the other day, I just restocked the shelves. So we're going to use a little bit of the pancake mix with the milk in the egg, kind of making a bit of a custard to go on top um, so it, the bread soaks in. So let's get prepping this. Going to bring the, the camera down. I'm so sorry yesterday when I rewatched the video as I do to make sure I'm always improving for you guys, that you guys really didn't see a lot of what I was doing on my cutting board. So thank you for tuning in tonight. As you'll see, and if you're new to tuning in, I always love to get a little bit of a culinary tip. You'll see I have what's called a double board method. Because I'm going to be cutting raw meat, I need to have a separate cutting board, a separate knife, so I'm not cross-contaminating. And I also have a bit of wet cloth underneath that's gonna catch any juices, so I'm not contaminating that board underneath. So let me get that done. I've got four of the maple breakfast sausages I'm gonna use. I took these out of the freezer about, um, I'm gonna say an hour ago. Um, I just wanna still keep them frozen because they're gonna be easier to cut. And let me know out there, um, I do have my window open here in South Langley, it's very warm. And I don't know, you may be hearing a goat. I do live on a farm and it is spring and the goats are doing what goats do, they're talking outside. So cutting up my sausages to go in, about, I'm gonna say a centimeter, centimeter and a half going in there raw, because that's gonna cook. If you have any questions about any of our turkey products, please put it in the comments as well. You could make this recipe gluten-free. Our sausages are gluten-free, so you would use a gluten-free bread and the gluten-free pancake mix, so you could keep this all gluten-free. Okay, so now I'm done with my knife that I had raw meat, and I'm done with my board that had raw meat. I'm taking that away. Don't want to make mom sick tomorrow. Nope, that's not, don't want to do that. Okay, so let's get cutting some of our vegetables that are going to be going in. Slicing up that red onion. Just about, say, a quarter inch, slight, a quarter inch, or, I keep going back between inches and centimeters. Hopefully you guys understand that. I'm of an age where halfway growing up, they went from Imperial over to the metric system. And we do have eight, over 8,000 viewers or 8,000 followers on our Facebook page. So there could be some Americans out there. So cutting this up, I'm gonna say about a centimeter, a centimeter. Okay, into my pan. Again, cutting up the green pepper, or I've, you could use green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers. So if you kind of see, what I'm doing is creating a bit of that hash brown in with the bread and with the egg and with the sausages. So you get the whole breakfast right in one pan. Okay, again, about the same size, because you know when you have the same size as everything, it all cooks evenly. Cutting up a little bit of that jalapeno. I don't know, I'm on a cilantro and jalapeno kick these days. I like a little bit of spice. I think because it's getting warmer outside, I need to make my insides warmer. So cutting this up as well. And remember the trick with a jalapeno? You cut it in half, use a teaspoon, clean it all out as close to the flesh, getting rid of all the, um, the ribs and the seeds because that's where the, the heat is. Okay, got our sweet potato. I cut this in half. So these are two smallish, if you kind of see the size of my hand, about the, si the palm of my hand. Going to cut this pretty thin. Sweet potatoes cook a lot faster than a regular conventional potato. Um, so it's nice to put them in raw, but you wanna make sure that you cut them up really small so they will cook evenly with everything else. Is this a sweet potato or a yam? I think this is a yam. I think a sweet potato is the yellow one. If anybody knows the difference, put it in the comments. You think I should know because I went to culinary school. OK, 
Okay, and in goes that. This other one. Whoops, cut down the wrong way. Come on in. When I'm done cutting, I want to share a, a little tidbit of history with you about this knife. When I went to culinary school in 1983, I had to buy my own knives. This is my knife from culinary school. We had to put our initials in it. So my initials, I've had this knife since 1983. So when you find a really good knife and you care for it well, you'll be only investing in knives, you know, once in a lifetime. So I get take these to a knife sharpener and then I keep the uh, keep it sharp by using a steel. Okay, and then that goes. So let's get our bread. I had some beautiful day old brown bread. I'm gonna cut this up. Back to my um, my bread knife. Just makes cutting bread a little easier. Again, but one centimeter cubes on this one here. This is a recipe that you could put lots of your favorite ingredients. You could put some chopped tomatoes or sun-dried tomatoes in this recipe. Um, if you wanted to make it for a dinner, um, substitute, and you could put grated carrots and celery and onion in your poultry seasoning, and it kind of will have that bit of a stuffing feel. And you could use one of our other turkey sausages, which we have the regular turkey breakfast, or the turkey cranberry sausage, so that would be more like a, a dinner type meal. So if you had to make this recipe for a potluck or something, and with having the dried cranberries in there, it's like having the cranberry sauce built right inside. So, uh, oh, just a second. I'm going to just turn that off. I forgot to turn my sound off. So, sorry about that, guys. How do I turn that off? How's everybody's weekend? It's very, very warm out there, and it's supposed to get warmer. And remember, we get to see our moms, but we need to be socially distant. So that means at six feet away, what did, they, what did I hear uh, today? Dr. Henry said, that's our health minister here in BC, our health advisor here in BC. She said, big spaces and lots of faces. So get your face to your mom, but get it at a great distance because we want our moms around for a long time. Or you know what? Or we want those people in our lives that are like our moms. We want them around for a long time. Okay, almost done getting this bread. So you get all this prep done, and then in the morning, you're just going to be able to pop this right into the oven. Okay, let's bring that back so you can kind of see. So I've got all that bread. Just going to give everybody a little bit. I even move around, tossing it around. Okay, let's get that dried cranberry in there as well. Okay. And get that all there. Perfect. Set that off to the side. So let's get the four eggs. I know yesterday I used one hand. I'm going to use two hands so that way I minimize the shell. I have a question. So thankful for you. You don't have a mom. Oh, you don't have a mom. So what do you do? Um, my, I do have a mom. Um, and I have a lot of ladies in my life who's been like a mom. So T Tracy, are you saying, so thankful you, you don't have a mom, so what do you do? You know what, you find somebody in your life, it could be a man or somebody in between. And you know, I've gotten some motherly advice from some men in my life. Okay, so eggs. I like it quite peppery. Again, because you know we're gonna have that sweet sausage and the yam slash um, sweet potato in there. This amazing blend of the turkey rub spices. I have salt and paprika and garlic. I'm gonna give a big heaping teaspoon of that because eggs like salt. And if you eat a dish that has eggs and there's not enough salt in there, it just doesn't taste good. So a cup of milk. Hey, Tracy, where are you from? Let me know where you're from. I'd love to know where some of our people that are tuning in. Okay. So of my pancake mix, I'm going to use a half a cup. And the reason why I'm using that pancake mix instead of just using the egg is it gives it a little bit of a, a fail-safe. Oh, you're from Langley. I'm from Langley, too. It's all Langley. It gives that little bit of a fail-safe that you know it's going to set up in the recipe. 
and it kind of gives it a little bit of a maybe a, um, a muffin texture in between the breadcrumbs. So there we go, that's well mixed. Clean up my board a bit. Okay, bring this back. So love your place. Oh, yes, I do too. There's so many things like, um, remember our easy ordering system, online ordering, we made an easy button right from our Facebook page where you can order. Um, order tonight, we'll have it ready for you tomorrow. Remember our hours are Monday to Friday, um, nine to five. And we do have socially distanced, these really cool turkey feet that are in the store that keep everybody uh, separated. Um, and then we have a number of our stores locally that carry our products as well. So I do know because I, when I go out into the stores and do my demos, at Nestor's Market, Bilo Foods, Palm Market, and Nature's Pickens all have our sausages. So if you ni live near any of those locations, just pop into one of those stores to be able to get your ingredients. Okay, so I've poured the milk on top and I have a fancy, whoa, my knife almost went on the floor. Fancy grater for my Parmesan. I'm going to put a piece of Parmesan in. Just give it a little kiss of Parmesan. Again, saltier cheese is going to pair well with the sweetness of the cranberries and the sweet potato. Need another little piece of cheese. That's not enough cheese. Let's see. Maybe about, feels like an ounce in there. Get that back again. So remember, I'm going to pop this into the fridge. All that egg mixture is going to soak up into the bread. And tomorrow, I would serve this maybe with a little hot maple syrup on the side or a nice salsa would be great on the side. Or cranberries naturally at, the, at our store, we have a cranberry sauce. And a cranberry mustard would be nice on the side of this as well. Okay, I think that's good. So there you have it. We've got our Mother's Day brunch all in one dish, ready to go. And I come back up here a little bit higher. I've been there a long time ago, need to visit. Yes, please do. And tomorrow we're open from 10 to five. And I think we've got some items that we're bundling together that moms get to save 20% off. So take a look at our Facebook page and also our website for that um, great special we're doing for moms. So there we go. There's tonight's recipe. One dish, be able to get the kids involved in this. They could cut the bread for you. Um, they could cut the, mix the eggs and crack the eggs for you. Great little dish. From my home to your home, God bless. From the JD Farms family of Jack and Jason and Marilyn and Jennifer and their spouses and all the people that work at JD Farms, we wish you a beautiful Mother's Day tomorrow and have a great day. Be safe, stay close to home, and practice social distancing because we want you around for generations to generations to come. Enjoy the night, everybody. And I will see you, I think I'll be back Tuesday night or Wednesday night next week. Enjoy. Bye-bye.